Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase with Rocky Mountain. Thank you so much for checking in. So today we have the new Ojo Safari D3O 2 liter hydration pack. And Ojo uses three words to kind of describe this pack to keep you protected, keep you hydrated, and keep you comfortable. And really kind of the big so what feature about this pack, and for the first time that I'm seeing this from Ojo, there is a CE Level 2 D3 back pad that is built into this. So if you've been shopping for a good sized pack that's going to be good for off-road, even commuting, but you also want some protection that is built into it, well, that's what this pack offers. You also do have a two liter hydration bladder that will come included inside this. And honestly, first impressions, I like the look of it. I like the stealthy all black color and it feels really well built. You have two heavy duty fabrics on here. You have this 150 denier honeycomb ripstop fabric, but you also have a 420 denier Oxford nylon. So the bag just feels really well built when you have it in your hands. Now, as far as these straps go, so the shoulder straps are nice and wide, which I like. Again, that's just gonna add to the comfort. You've got mesh underneath to help breathe. You do have some padding in these shoulder straps as well. Plenty of adjustability with these. So right here, this center buckle pivots. So that's just to help, you know, help this thing move freely when you do have it on. I kind of wish they had included some sort of pocket right here in the front for maybe say a two-way messenger or something like that. But, so you got that center pivoting buckle and then with the straps, plenty of adjustability. So right now you can see that this strap is going through these two buckles. So this is on the smaller setting, but for the larger riders, you would just take that out and run it just through this loop and that will make it even larger for you. So you've got plenty of adjustment there. Do that back up real quick. But you also can adjust even just the length of this little strap right here a little bit. So it's gonna fit a wide variety of riders. Now, like I said, the big so what here is you do have that D3O back pad. Now, again, CE level two, so great impact protection. We all know D3O, it's phenomenal because when it's warm, it becomes nice and malleable. It fits the shape of the rider's body really well, but it does a phenomenal job of absorbing impact energy. So good protection. However, there's two things about this that I would just kind of maybe keep in mind. And it's not a deal breaker for me, but I don't, I haven't ridden in this pack, but I do have a roost deflector that does have a D3O back pad as the back protection. And there's two things that I've noticed. One, in warmer temperatures, it can feel pretty warm because that D3O does kind of absorb your body heat. That's how it becomes soft and malleable. So it can feel kind of warm on your back when you're riding. And the other thing too is that with it doing such a great job absorbing impact, it does add some weight to the pack. So just feeling this, you know, it feels pretty heavy for a hydration pack because of that. And then when you have this thing full of water, you know, it's gonna add some weight to it as well. So just a couple things to keep in mind. But as far as the SIP tube goes, again, right now it's routed over the left shoulder. You could do it over the right if you wanted to. Your bite valve does rotate, which is nice. So you can get the angle of that just how you want it when you wanna go take a drink. All right, let's talk about pockets here. So on both sides, you have these stretch mesh pockets. So those are pretty deep, plenty of storage there. You could put an extra water bottle right there if you wanted to. And then right here, you've got this little loop. So if you want to attach something here on the outside, you can do that. But then you've got this big stretch pocket right here. And you can see you have a ton of adjustment right here with these straps on top. So you can really open this thing up to put a lot of gear inside here. So if you want to pack a jacket with, you can put it inside here. You could put a, again, if you're commuting, you could put a pair of shoes inside here. And they even say for a helmet. And that's why I say, you know, be a good option for a commuting pack. If you get to a destination, you're taking your helmet off and you want to walk somewhere to get your job, school, whatever it is, you know, you could expand this and use it to compress your helmet. And on top of that, you have this zipper down here at the bottom you can undo. And that allows the entire bottom of this thing to open up as well. So you get a lot of expansion with this pocket to put a lot of gear inside there. And you do have some reflectivity. The OGO logos right here, those are reflective. So again, some added protection when you're when a car's headlights hit you. So this expandable pocket does give you a lot of storage capacity for a lot of different things. All right, so if we undo those, what's also nice about these straps is when you do load this thing up with gear, you can really cinch those down to hold everything in place. But on the very top, that is a fleece line pocket. And you can see my whole hand gets inside there so you can put your phone, some sunglasses, electronics, things like that, go right inside there just fine. Open up this pocket here. So inside that big compartment, and then you've got a couple mesh storage pockets right here. You also have a zippered pocket up here on top. So again, not as deep as you would think, but good little pocket here. You've got your keychain clip over here on the left side. 
And then we'll get to the main compartment, which is where your water bladder lives. So with this, you notice that they have this reflective material inside here. So that's just to add to the insulation and say it'll keep your drinks cool up to 30% longer. So you've got this insulation fabric here on the inside. And then again, there is the two liter anti-slosh bladder. Um, and what's nice about this is, so I can take that hose out, but then for this, you'd actually just pop these up and that will allow you to open up that bladder to fill it up. So what's nice though is you don't have to worry about this leaking, but also what's nice about this setup is that you have this bar basically, or this ridge that goes down that bladder and that's where they get that anti-sloshing from because when you have that filled up, this will just kind of keep that bladder in place so it's not just bouncing all over the place. The only thing that I could see that maybe they would want to add if, if, if it were me being picky is just add a sleeve inside here so you could put other items inside here but keep it separate from the bladder itself. And then you also do have what's nice, a quick disconnect for your hydration tube so you don't have to completely take this out when you want to take the bladder out to refill it or clean it, do whatever. So anyway, let me do that back up. All right, and that's it. That is the Ogeo Safari D30 2 liter hydration pack. Again, if you like the size of this, you like the idea of take, being able to take a lot of gear with you plus the bladder and you're getting that CE Level 2 D30 back pad in there, then this could be a really good option for you. You are making an investment here. You're coming close to 200 bucks, but there's a lot of cool features that are built into this. If you have questions, comments, we'd love to get those answered. So make sure to leave those down below. To grab this and to see the other hydration packs that we offer, Click the link or head over to RockyMountAtpMC.com. As you all know, we ship for free over 75 bucks. And if you want to stay up to date on product spotlights like this, get subscribed to our Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and you're ready to go. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.